Well, Mitch, as a kid who grew up in Thornhill, this has to be an absolute thrill for you. Yeah, I don't think there's any words to put it. Uh, I grew up watching Leafs and finally put this Leafs jersey on is uh, speechless. You've made number 93 quite famous in London. Doug Gilmore made it famous in Toronto. You were only six when he was a member of the Toronto Maple Leafs, but at least through either you or through your dad, do you have memories of Doug Gilmore? Yeah, yeah he's a special player. I've uh, you know I watched him when he was in a Leaf uniform, and um, you know he's a special guy. He's uh, a really nice guy to talk to. He's down to earth, and I remember watching his games when he was in the Leafs, and you know how good he was at that wraparound, and how special he was, and how loved he was by those fans, and you know that's what I'm hoping to bring back. As surreal as this moment is for you right now and coming to the draft and, and going fourth overall, what was it like to get there last year and see your good friend Christian Dvorak go through the same process, in fact, and go down to Arizona as well? Yeah, it's, it was special. Uh, you know, he was my best friend all throughout the year. He's the guy I've been close with uh, my, my whole uh, well, the past two years, and he's guy that's drove me around. He's, uh, he's a guy that's, you know, he never talks out of place. You know, he's, uh, he's not cocky. He's quiet. And, uh, you know, that's just the way he is. And, you know, when he got drafted, uh, I, I saw him and I gave him a big hug. And, you know, I couldn't believe that, uh, you know, that day came from him. And, you know, I was happy because he uh, went in the second round. I bet him a steak dinner on that. So that was a nice steak dinner from him. 19th overall in the Ontario Hockey League draft two years ago. Mark Hunter thought a little higher of you this time around. You go fourth overall. What has been the biggest difference in your development in the two years that you've been with the Knights? Uh, I think, you know, they put more responsibility into me. Uh, when I get that, more ice time or something like that, then... I, uh, I excel more, I feel, and, you know, he trusts me with older guys and, you know, play a bigger part of the team, and I feel when I get that, that I can play a lot better and stronger, and, um, you know, ever since day one, he's had confidence in me, and, uh, you know, obviously him picking me in the OHL, I would have never thought he would pick me in the NHL, but, you know, we're standing here now, and he was the one to call my name, so it's, it's pretty special. 126-point season. Do you look back to August and the participation in the Ivan Halinka tournament in effort to, to kickstart the season you had? Yeah, it was, a, it was a great tournament. You know, we had a lot of fun there. Me, Dylan, and Graham, um, you know, we, we did really well there, and we had a lot of fun, like I said, and, you know, it was a good competition to start off the year, and it's kind of, um, you know, your first get-together with uh, kind of the whole first round, and it was a lot of fun playing against, you know, a lot of skilled guys from different nations. We talked about it at the Combine, but your off-season workouts and going back, way back when you were just a toddler with Rob DeVoe and Ajax and all those trips from Thornhill, how important has he been to your career? He's the guy that I can't thank enough. He's mm -hmm. trusted me since I was four. He's been you know, working with me since I was four, and he's a guy that uh, I was happy to bring here with me, and he's, uh, he's practically my dad. You know, he's, uh, he's been with me ever since day one, and he's put trust into me, and he, every time I step on the ice with him, he makes me so much better and so much skilled, and, you know, I can't thank him enough for what he's done for me and for my family, and uh, without him, I don't, I don't think I'd be standing here on this podium. You and Dylan Strom's careers have paralleled each other all the way through. You've become great friends as a result. Uh, had to be a surreal moment for both of you guys to go a selection apart. Yeah, when I saw his name get called, mm -hmm. uh, I wish I could stand and clap, but I thought it would be a little weird. So obviously I decided to sit down and try and stare him in the eyes when he was walking down. But I was excited for him. You know, he deserves it. He's worked his uh, you know, entire life at this moment just like uh, how I have. And he, uh, he wanted to go to Arizona, and he's there now, and I'm happy for him. Mitch, congratulations. Enjoy the moment and enjoy your fall. Thank you.